Hello everyone, it's Amy from the teacher blog teachwithwings.com and I'm so glad you joined me today. We're going to be talking about how we can easily share um, our Google items, so documents or spreadsheets or presentations, uh, with people by generating a link. And so the first thing you'll want to do is go to google.com and sign into your Google account. Then we'll go over here to what most of us call the waffle and you're going to click on Drive. Google Drive is that place where everything that you create in Google automatically saves to. It's kind of like your very own filing cabinet in the cloud. And so what you'll want to do is just go ahead and find uh, whatever it is you want to share with someone. So here I'm going to share this, this document right here called Sample Document. And as soon as I click on it, you'll see that uh, all these different little icons show up up here and so when in doubt find a plus next to an image of a person or anything that says share that is the place um, basically in Google or in Microsoft where you are going to be able to create a link that you can send to other people so if you just click right here you'll see that I could put in someone's email address and then um, so let's just do this. And I can choose, do I want this person to be able to edit? And that's fine if you do, but a lot of times we just want someone to be able to view it. Um, we don't want them to accidentally be able to delete our work. And so most often we want to change this to view, or maybe you want to change it to comment, but I'm going to change that to can view. And I could add a note. Um, you know, here is the document um, that I said I'd share with you. And then I would just click send, and it will actually send them that. Um, but the other way to do this, and I went back to that little sharing person there, is to get a shareable link. And so I just click on that. And it will give me this link. So I just copy the link and it says anyone with the link can view. So right now I can change it to anyone with the link can edit, anyone with the link can comment. If I click on more, it'll say, you know, we could put it on the public on the web. Um, we could change it so that people have to sign in. So I have all sorts of options. So I'm going to change it to anyone with the link can view here and then just click save. So then I know that anyone who comes across this link, let's say I send it to my mom who sends it to my cousin who sends it to his friend or something. I know that it doesn't matter how far this travels. People can only view it and they can't edit it. So I heard, already have this link copied. And so what I can do is I can just um, go into my email and I just paste that link into my email. What is so awesome about having something in the cloud rather than sending it as an attachment is if you've ever gotten back that response that the file that you're sending is too big, this will not be too big. We are simply sending a link. We're not sending the actual file. Um, we're kind of sending a pathway uh, because it's actually stored in the cloud. We're not sending them the actual file. Um, so it, it's a much easier way to share this with people. If you're a teacher, this is a much better way for students to share projects and papers with you. They won't get that response that their, um, you know, their presentation is too big for them to email to you or something like that, or their video. As long as it's in Google Drive, they can generate a link to you. And so that is one way that you can do it. But let's say you have your document open. We can do the exact same thing straight from our document. And so this is my sample document. So when in doubt, like I said, find the share button with the little person. So I just click the share button there and I go about things the exact same way. I can change whether or not I want them to just view or edit or comment. Um, I can copy the link. And then I am free to uh, take that link and do with it as I please. I can email it. Um, if I'm using an online classroom, I can submit that link through the online classroom for my item to be graded. I can share it with my coworkers. Uh, and so that is how you 
generate a link that you can share with other people so that they can access your Google items. I hope you have a fabulous day and come back often to see more videos.